Hey Muffins, welcome back to the channel. I have a subscriber request for the ARL44. Uh, very capable tank. Um, I do have a tips and tricks playlist I am putting together. If there's a tank you're struggling with, shoot over there. There may be a tank I've already done a video on that could help you out. But let's dive into the ARL44. So like I had mentioned, it's a very capable tank. It is a heavy tank, but it's a tank that you can get a little overconfident in terms of the armor. And you'll see that here within the two replays. It does have a decent armor profile, not saying it doesn't, but it's one that you very so much have to utilize the landscape to still protect yourself. And you have to know basics such as side scraping. So here, I'm trying to get myself up on the front lines and want to be in a place that I can not only be in a supportive position to support my team, but my, my team also has visibility on me so they can also support me as well if I ever get in trouble. I'm not ever going to just one side of the map or the other by myself without having that visibility from my team, because that could definitely put you in a bad position. So you'll notice here, okay, it looks like the enemy went town. I need to get myself, like I had said, on the front lines. I've got my leopard over here on the far left that is moving up and trying to spot. So I'm now trying to move up a little bit more, but you'll notice I'm moving up in ways of trying to use the landscape to protect myself in case I get spotted. I'm trying to keep myself in the low points of the dunes when advancing. Once again, using that landscape and not just completely peeking over, being very aware of where my team is. And just like right here, I'm utilizing this dune and just peeking my turret over to, to take shots on this enemy. And it's making it very difficult for him to penetrate me. So now I'm paying attention. I see the enemies line up where my team is. And as I understand more of that, it'll help me make decisions on how to aggressively approach the enemy and, and effectively help my team and position myself accordingly. So you'll notice that I'm never ever trying to put myself in a position to completely rely on my armor. Uh, if I do, I want to try hyper angling it, meaning not only are you just angling it because you can still get penned, but like even angling it just slightly further wherever paying attention to where their cannon might be um, shooting at to try to auto ricochet or like hopefully bounce that round because like I said, you can still get penned. And I think players when playing the ARL 44 can get a little overconfident with its armor. And so here, I'm. there's a lot of enemies over on the right hand side. I do have my team over on the left. And here I have a great chance of being able to take shots on these enemies, but I need to be careful in terms of advancing because there is that KV-2 and there's also um, another that VK with him. And so I'm trying to put myself in a position where I'm still helping my team. And you notice that medium um, tier six was able to penetrate me. And so I'm still able to get those effective shots off. You wanna make sure you're definitely not tunnel visioning because the entire time you'll notice I'm using my third person view and I'm always paying attention to where my team is and where my enemy is. And so here, even with that KV-2, like even with a heavy tank, I, I do mention this in some of my other videos. Um, if you watch the one on the LTTB in terms of understanding when it uh, makes sense to engage and when it makes sense to disengage. So where that KV-2 and that VK was there, I wanted to make sure, even though I was more of an engaged position, and I didn't want to take a KV hit, so I needed to disengage, which is why I backed up kind of behind that hill to protect myself, but I could still focus on getting shots on the team. And also even wiggling your tank back and forth even when you're cresting hills and things like that you notice in the previous replay, it'll help tanks miss and it makes it harder for them to aim. So 
Anyway, going here into the second replay, I'm going over here more into a center position to try and help my team out as much as possible. Now, <laughs> this guy, I'm not sure necessarily what he's doing, but I wasn't really too worried about it just because once again, I'm keeping myself within visibility range of a teammate. So I had the SU with me and I'm trying to cut over here to the center to also help and support my team and be up on the front lines. So here I'm trying to advance. I'm trying to get myself on those front lines. I'm a heavy tank. That's where I need to be. And I'm trying to be very aware. So even when crossing an area like that, I knew from even below that an enemy could potentially hit the side of my turret. So I turned my turret to face toward that direction. So if any shot were to be taken, it would hopefully bounce the shot off my turret. So in utilizing the strong points of your armor, a lot of the time using a heavy tank is understanding your um, your tank's armor and understanding the enemy's penetration. So here, I'm using a little bit of that landscape to try to protect myself. He doesn't have a full view of my tank. And I do have a little bit of visibility into those weak spots. And I am on a little bit of a slope here, which helps, and using some gun depression, which helps strengthen some of that armor. So once again, you can see even through both of these replays, I'm trying to utilize the landscape as much as possible to protect myself or even side scrape. Um, <laughs> unless it's like a KV-2, because using a, a Hesh round, um, getting hit by one of those right in the side, uh, even from like an SU-152 can do a lot of damage uh, to you still. So anyway, hopefully this was something that could help any of those maybe struggling with the ARL-44. Um, but some takeaways from this, you need to be on the front lines, you need to know how to side scrape, utilize the landscape to protect yourself, be very aware of where your team is, where your enemy is, and make sure you keep yourself in visibility of where your team is so that not only can you support them, but they can support you. And that'll make a big difference when playing this tank. Another thing is don't get too overconfident, even though you can come across this tank in a battle and it's it's got pretty good armor. But as you can see, you can get a little overconfident and really start falling apart. So anyway, Muffin here, stay cool and keep tanking.